Well, today we are having our premier Mill City Farmers Market inside the Mill City Museum. It's been bustling since the doors opened at 10 a.m. today. We're open 10 to 1, the second Saturday of every month. And so the market has moved from the seventh year now, being outside on the plaza and in the train shed outdoors to inside this fabulous museum. We're thrilled to have this venue for us and you to continue to support these vendors throughout the winter months. Um, it's a marketplace for them to be able to continue to sell their wares and their produce that they've worked so hard in growing and preparing and producing for us. We normally have 55 vendors outdoors and we have almost 40 vendors here today indoors. Singing Hills uh, Dairy is three years old. This is our third year of legal production. We were making cheese illegally on the stovetop before that, and then we got licensed by the Minnesota Department of Ag. So this is our third year. We uh, specialize in fresh goat cheese products. So all of our products that we sell are made the week that we sell them. Goat meat is a lot, our goat meat is a lot like lamb. It's a very uh, lamby type. It's, it's, our goat meat is gonna be a lot milder than a lot of the meat you find in the store. My name is Nicholas. I work for Wild Idea Buffalo. Uh, we're outside of Rapid City in South Dakota, and we are one of the leading providers of 100% grass-fed bison. I bring this here every week. You know, I'm doing a CSA right now, so I've got some CSA packages that I've put together for people. But you know, this is one of our, these are the brats. So you get a pound and a half of brats. It's a great deal, and they're, they're delicious. They're tasty. The company is Barclays Bistro. So we do all natural, locally sourced dog treats. Um, we do smoked uh, bones. We do uh, beer for dogs, and uh, we use all local farms. Our vegetables are all organic. We do everything in small batches, and I use a local restaurant, Black Forest, to do all the, the baking and production. Yeah, one of our products is Bowser Beer for Dogs. It's a non-alcoholic uh, stock that I fortify with malt, glucosamine, potassium, a few other vitamins, some other nutrients, and it's a, it's a great additive for food, and it's also a great you know, uh, supplement and uh, a great way to enjoy a, a beer with your dog and not have the uh, alcohol effects for the dog. My farm name is Prairie Hollow Farm and we do a full line of produce. We've got breads and we do cheese. We're an organic farm, we're not certified, but I've farmed organically for over 30 years. Uh, last year we had two winter markets here, so we came and, and brought our produce, which was very surprising to people to walk in here in December. and. Wow, there's greens, where do those come from? It's been an introduction of our product to a lot of new customers and, and hopefully the market itself to a lot of new customers. I've been seeing a lot of new faces today that we normally don't see and um, it's great for me too personally because I get to spend my Saturday at this amazing market with amazing people who care about food and really want to provide um, a sustainable source of food for people. And we're very excited about the winter market being regular and something that people can depend on because so many of our customers can only get our products here at the market. We don't sell in a lot of the stores because we're too small. And with this venue, we're allowing them the economic um, outlet in order to sell this produce for the rest of the winter. Um, there's a surprising amount of produce right now. You can go to our website, millcityfarmersmarket.org, and we have all the dates up as well as lots of information on our vendors. And it is really a beautiful market that has still plenty to offer. Mm -hmm.